Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Bye. Today we actually had a company reach out to us and send us one of these things here. This is actually pretty cool. It's a, a, it's a smart AI recognition bird feeder. It's basically you hook it to your Wi-Fi and you can watch birds on your phone or you can, you can use it for a security camera. Anything because you get live feeds on it, everything. So we're going to take it out and hook it up and everything today. Get it working. And it real hard to install like the apps and stuff like that. So here it is, it's the bird feeder. It comes with a solar panel on top, it's solar charged. Here's your camera right here. It basically, it's got a, I think a 500 milliamp battery in it. And this, this solar panel keeps it charged all the time. So you don't have to worry about running cords or anything like that. And it's wireless, it hooks to your internet. We, I've actually, I've already hooked, hooked it to the internet. It comes with, comes with a cord. If you want to take and charge it, say like off your USB, you can plug it in and just kind of charge it up that way. If you know, you don't have enough solar to charge it or whatever. It comes with a cord to do so. Right here's the little perch that comes with it. You stick it on here, just like that. Here's a strap, if you wanna strap it down, basically strap it to a tree, anything like that. And here's the mountain bracket. I'm gonna actually mount this thing on the greenhouse here somewhere. She likes, she likes birds and everything like that, and she's got plenty of bird feeders out, so this would be a perfect addition to her bird feeders and stuff. But I'm also gonna use it for a security camera too. Just an extra one, we have plenty, but one more never hurt. So basically you just mount this, basically like flush, like this, screw it down, and then you just pretty much just set the bird feeder on it, like that. That's the way it'll look, that's the way it goes. And you can turn it ever how you want it, you know, anything like that. So I mean, it's actually a pretty good little design. And the camera you can tilt just a little down or up or whatever you want to do, like that. You can tilt the camera. But anyway, here's a little door in the back. You put your feet in here. And then put your lid back on it. It's got, you can put screws in it if you want. And here's the mounting hardware for it. You got here the screws to mount it there. So, and then the screws to put in here. You screw this down, this little perch. Anyway, we'll set that and let it charge for a minute. Come with our user's manual. It tells you how to do everything, how to basically, how to set it up, you know, and then you got a little QR code in here. You scan to download the app for your phone. It's uh, pretty simple to do right there. You scan that, and then you download the app on your phone or whatever device you're using, and it works pretty good. Then just link it to your Wi-Fi to your phone, and it's pretty self-explanatory. It's simple to do. All right, here's on the top of the camera right here. You tilt the camera all the way down like that. And then right there you'll see where, this is the solar panel plug, micro USB. You plug it in here to charge it. And then you remove this to get to the SIM card, this little card chip in there. And it come with a chip. This one actually come with two chips, believe it or not. I don't know if all of them will or not, but this one come with a 64 and a 32. Um, I don't know if that was by design or if they just gave it to me because or what. Or I really don't know because I know some of the videos I watched on them they only come with you know one to 32 But this one had a 64 in it already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out where we want this bracket So where would you like it at like up here somewhere? Yeah Not real high, but kind of like right here. Yeah, like right here where I can get to it, but yeah Okay, let's put it right here Where they? Yeah Okay That's on there. Okay. Yeah, there's that. Okay. And this little piece right here, you get these with your cell phones, like removing chips and stuff like that. You'll need that, trust me. Because right at the top of it, there's a little spot right at the top of the camera. It says to sync it. You gotta mash that to sync it with your phone and stuff like you'll see when you go through the instructions on it. Uh, basically, you take this thing, you unbox it, you take that camera, you charge it for a little while toward having the fuse on it, 
and then you take this little you lean your camera all the way forward. This is the tree. Trying to figure out where to put all this stuff is the tree part. Unplug that and you remove this little rubber piece right here. And underneath this rubber piece, you'll see a off and on switch. You'll see a, a memory card slot. And you'll see a sync button. Or like a tab, a little hole that you stick this in. And uh, follow the instructions on your phone. And it'll tell you when to sync it. You mash that button and hold it and you'll hear a beep. Once you hear that beep, you let off of it and your phone will sync to it. And then you're done. That's pretty much it for this. But anyway, this thing here is pretty much together. It's pretty much done right there. So, I want to stick it up here. And just insert it like that. Go ahead and put these screws in here. That way it won't fly off with the wind or the squirrels or nothing can't kick it off. Right on it on this bird feeder the camera settings on it it's pretty it's pretty simple to do what you do is after you get the camera out and charges up a little bit like i was saying and we've got enough battery life to go through the process what you want to do is open up your phone any smartphone to work and you scan this code that's inside the it's inside the little booklet that comes with it which is actually on page 15. right there's a little qr code you scan that and once you scan that it'll take you to uh, basically your Apple store or whatever store Android store to download that app you download that onto your phone you go through the settings you set you up a password username password then uh, you what one of the steps is you will take the camera and uh, it'll they'll have, it'll have a code on front of the it'll have a QR code on your phone and you take the, the, the bird camera and you hold your phone in front of it let it scan that little QR code and then that links the two together once you put it in pairing mode you just follow in step by step instruction is and it's pretty self-explanatory and once you do that it links the two together okay bird lover is the name of the app that's uh, the name it's bird lover and once you get that app on your phone you download it install it go through the steps putting it on all right and you turn it on okay and here's the screen you'll come to right here all right and what you want to do is you want to click that right there and that'll pull up your camera it says syncing it for with secure network. Okay, and right there the camera feed just come on. It's that simple to do. All right. And once the camera feed feed is on, all right. There's several different things here you can do with it. You can actually like uh, take this thing and blow it up into full screen like that. Okay, go back out of that. It also has an alarm on it. Say like if. Uh, if you see like a squirrel or something getting in your feed, you can set this alarm off, and it'll, it's like a, a verbal alarm that goes off on the on the feeder itself up there, and it'll scare off squirrels and stuff like that. Or, like I said, you can use it for home security because, like, if you see somebody pulling your yard that you don't want in your yard, click that thing on. It, it's pretty loud. I mean, it'll get their attention. You know, they'll think they set an alarm off or something. So, it, this thing is actually. <coughs> multi-purpose the way it works and the stuff that you can do with it, it it's actually really really cool um, like i said she has tons of bird feeders around the property and stuff and we thought that this would be a perfect match that's the reason we said yeah we'd you know we'll do a video on it because she likes bird feeders and birds flying around the house and i wanted the the live streaming capabilities of it just a, an, a another one we have one but you know we have several actually but you know one more never hurt when it comes to home security because if we're away i can turn it on i can see who's coming up down my driveway because right there if you look 
right, I can't really point it out too good on this thing, but my driveway is right in behind there. So I can see anybody that comes up my driveway. And that's live feed right now. That's actual live feed. You can pull up 24 seven live feed on this thing. All right, and it also has the gallery where, the, where you saved stuff, like right there, we've got three that we've saved so far, little videos that I did. You can delete those, just select them right there. Okay, now delete them. Which is pretty simple to do, now they're all gone. All right, go back. Okay, and I'll show, it has bird, like I said, bird recognition on it, uh, one way talk. You can mash this and I can actually talk. If I, if I see somebody walking around up my driveway, I can mash this and say, hey, it's kind of like a ring doorbell kind of thing. Kind of, It's kind of similar to that, I would say, because it's motion activated. You can turn on motion detection. It's basically anything with it. And you can talk, you can actually talk two ways because I can hear them, I can turn on the microphone, I can hear them or I can talk to them, both, you know what I mean? So so that'd be pretty cool. All right, and then um, let me see some of the playback. You can play back the videos. Uh, like I said, it has the sirens. You can share uh, like the video clips that you take, like to social media or to another person, to another phone, anything like that. But anyway, guys, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. And like I said, there's the live feed one more time. The only thing as far as unit for security, if you notice the uh, the little perch that's on the end of it right there kind of gets in the way of showing so and you still have a trace so i may take that perch back off just so it shows more of like the driveway and stuff like that but for a bird feeder it's perfect it's perfect for what we're going to do with it and uh we, we thank you guys for sending it out to us and uh, we will leave links down in the description but anyway guys if you haven't done so yet hit that like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one like subscribe watch our videos bye